Once upon a time, there was a goddess named Aquarella, who lived 20,000 leagues under the sea. Although she robed her beauty in a glowing cloud of white light, she was a very sad goddess. Wherever she wandered, the seabed was scorched black and smoldering with flames. Now and then, chunks of rusty debris came hurtling down, remnants of the ancient battle above. Wherever she looked, not a living creature stirred. At last, Aquarella made a decision. Raising her hand, she began to put out the flames and turn all the black plants around her to brilliant white, as pure and perfect as she was herself. Time enough has passed since the age of man came to an end, she said. Tears enough have been shed. Darkness, I command you to depart. Aquarella surveyed the results and then sent out her call. Come, denizens of the deep, you who survived in the depths of cool oceans, come, we will repopulate the world. Beautiful fish of many kinds began to appear. And at the very end, three lovely white nymphs. All my dear creatures, said Aquarella, May you find shelter here forever from the vast destruction overhead. Promise me you will stay white, stay serene, and swim peacefully together. The nymphs nodded obediently. Now it is time for me to leave, but first listen to my warning. The old world vanished in flames because one being tried to outshine another and the result was selfishness and greed, ending in destruction for all. So I command you again, be content with your existence here. Stay white, stay serene, swim peacefully together. She laid her blessing on them. As Aquarella prepared to fly away, she uttered her command for the third time. As soon as the goddess was out of sight, the nymph named one jumped off the rock where she was sitting. She strode over to the lily pads with two and three right on her heels. She hesitated and she then touched a stem. Two and three were aghast. They shook their heads. Come on guys, all this white is boring, exclaimed one. So she went to a new lily pad and turned it mint green. When they saw the beautiful color, the three naughty nymphs couldn't help dancing for joy. Okay, now let's dress up, said one. She turned her blouse pink and her pants green. Two and three clapped their hands. Three put on purple and blue. Two made her shirt green and her pants yellow. Suddenly, a cloud of light shot down. Oh no, Aquarella came back to check on us. The goddess looked around. Then she glared at the nymphs. They bowed humbly in fear. Aquarella's fury knew no bounds. She berated them over and over again. And the terrified nymphs all crumpled up in little balls. Finally, Aquarella ceased her story. I can't undo what you have done, she declared, but I can stop you from doing more harm. She laid a spell on the three naughty nymphs that turned them into solitary little fish, never to school as friends again. Mournful whale songs arose all around, then the plants all turned black. Aquarella dashed this way and that, but the sorrowful protest arose everywhere. Finally, she stood still, clasped her head in despair. 
Just what is the matter with you all? Why aren't you satisfied with this lovely place? A chorus of voices arose. We want color. Color makes us happy. And most of all, where are our dear nymphs? Aquarella turned and bowed to her creation. I understand, she conceded. You may have color, and I will give you your beloved nymphs back so that they can create it for you. The three nymphs reappeared and immediately ran and huddled behind a rock. No, no, my dears, you have nothing to fear. I forgive you, and what is more, I thank you for teaching me a valuable lesson. I was wrong to call you naughty. Your color brought joy to the aquarium. Come to me, she said gently. At that, the nymphs ran up and hugged Aquarella. One and all, they rejoiced and comforted each other tenderly and lived very colorfully ever after.